What is stylization? Not many people might know, I personally am more comfortable with a more semi-realistic art style. So often, I like to play around and change it up a little. So this brings me back to the question I made before. Stylization is representing something in a way you want rather than how it is normally. A big example of this is how people often simplify features like noses and mouths, bringing them to become just a few lines. There are so many ways of stylization. Cartoons, for example, take people and even animals and make them into something you wouldn't normally see walking down a street. Another popular one is anime slash manga art style, which is the one I'll be working with today. You might have saw me drawing a more simplified art style before on my other videos since for some reason I decided to start posting with a style that I wasn't fully comfortable with. That's why I'm here. It's time to practice. Anime art style takes a face and increases the size of the cheeks and reduces the size of the chin, often making it pointy. I really enjoy how the simplified mouth and nose are often balanced with more detailed eyes. I really like seeing that. After all, I was the kid that drew eyes everywhere at school. For the sketch, I decided to abandon my beloved chalk pen that has accompanied me through my most recent artworks and go for a cleaner pen to try to make the lines stronger. I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to play around with different type of art styles, but they ended up all looking like they were done with the same exact art style. But the only way that makes them different was the fact that they were different people. Here I tried to give everyone a full body, but I kinda messed that up, uh, so let's pretend that never happened and let's move on. After practicing a little with drawing some faces, I moved on to try and make a render piece, and as a subject, I picked Ellen Joe from Zendel Zoom Zero. I picked a sort of watercolor-like pen to sketch the skeleton of the drawing, and then went in again with my beloved chalk pen to sketch the whole thing. While putting down flat colors, my laptop started tweaking, so you might notice the charging notification go on and off, so I apologize for that. Once I put down flat colors, I went in with merging all the layers together and working on a multiply layer to put down the main shadows. And then I merged it with the other layers and started rendering over it. The face isn't extremely detailed so I didn't spend that much time on it, except for the eyes, which personally I think came out really well. I also picked up a new way of rendering hair that I really really like and makes me play with more colors, and I'm really happy about how they hug the face so well. Once I was done with the face, I moved on to render the rest, which isn't that important since I haven't really stylized anything. Once everything was done, I played with some layer modes and coloring changes. I wanted to put a flat color as background but I wasn't happy with anything so at the end I opted to keep it white. So here are the results.
what I learned with this practice is that stylizing is really fun and I should really keep trying to improve my art style. And I hope you guys will try this as well. Even if you have a main art style, playing around never hurts, so go crazy. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.